stop, don't, don't stop, don't, don't stop, don't stop, don't, don't stop, don't, don't stop, don't stop, don't, don't stop, don't, don't stop, don't stop, don't, don't stop, don't, don't stop, the talk. Hello everyone, I'm your host Roxy B with Don't Stop the Talk. Today I'll be giving you the scoop on celebrities and their personal contributions to society. And don't forget my top five shoe picks. So let's get started. Did you know Captain Jack Sparrow was in the hospital recently? Don't worry, he's okay. Johnny Depp and his co-star Stephen Graham surprised children at the Lady Salento Children's Hospital in Queensland, Australia. They took a break from filming Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, and they arrived in full costume and makeup. How cool is that? Mother Rachel of seven-year-old Max Bennett said that they were going around from room to room visiting all the kids that couldn't get out of bed. And on one condition that they wouldn't be crowded and pushed around by the adults and they could spend as much time with the kids as they could. That just makes me love Johnny Depp even more. Did you know Jennifer Garner was in Minnesota at the Starking Herring Foundation Gala, looking as beautiful as always? She was honored for her work for Save the Children and Childhood Education. She graciously accepted her award and was even noted getting emotional during her speech. Dating back to the 1930s, Save the Children in 2015 were in 120 countries and helped more than 185 million children. What I love about this foundation is their focus on children. Find out more about Save the Children and find out how you can donate and help at savethechildren.org. And since we're talking about Jen, did you know that the Eastern Congo Initiative was started by Ben Affleck and a lady named Whitney Williams? ECI, what a great foundation and great for Ben and Jen's kids to see what great humanitarians and philanthropists that they are. It was started by Ben when him and Jen were together and they're still together, at least that's what I would love to believe. I'm almost sure that Jen was a huge supporter in ECI coming together for Ben. ECI is an advocacy and grant making initiative wholly focused on working with and for the people of the Eastern Congo. And I just have to personally add that I think it's great that Ben and Jen have been spotted out together. It just shows that they can focus on their family and put aside media negativity. I really hope that they work it out. Don't forget to find out more about ECI at easterncongo.org. And now this brings us to our next segment, Helping Hands. So for our helping hands, we have the story of a four-year-old boy by the name of Liam Brennis from Rancho Santa Margarita, California, whose prosthetic leg was stolen on his first trip to Crystal Cove Beach in Orange County. He was in the water playing for a couple hours with his dad and came back to find his leg missing along with other items. His mother feared that it would take several weeks to get a new leg and also cost them thousands of dollars. Dr. Michael Metakekia, an amputee himself, an owner of Essential Orthotics and Prosthetics in Palmdale, California, had his team work overtime to make a Ghostbusters themed leg and surprise the family within a few days. How cool is that? He saved them time and thousands of dollars on getting a new leg and a Ghostbusters leg, even cooler. Liam, a fan of Ghostbusters, loved his leg and his dad said it felt like Christmas in July. And the help didn't stop there. Robert Herjavec from Dancing with the Stars and Shark Tank heard this boy's story on ABC7 News and was so touched he offered to fund the boy's leg and throw him a party. The day after Robert married Dancing with the Stars partner Kim Johnson, they threw Liam a Ghostbusters theme party filled with gifts and toys and a surprise appearance by double amputee Iraq veteran Noah Galloway, who was also on Dancing with the Stars. To top it all off, Robert Herjavec offered the boy and his family a VIP tour to Disneyland. I just think that it's so cool that Dr. Michael Metakekia and his team worked overtime and Robert and Kim, after they got married, went out of their way to really help Liam and his family and lent their helping hands. And that brings us to our charitable sports figure, Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson, who will be inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame on September 9th, 
held the 2016 Allen Iverson Celebrity Summer Classic at Temple's Leacora Center in Philadelphia. A portion of the proceeds from that game benefit the Police Athletic League in Philadelphia and also the I Choose Life Foundation. PAL serves thousands of young boys and girls at their youth center free of charge. And the I Choose Life Foundation empowers, encourages, and engages young people to make better decisions. Find out more about PAL on www.phillypal.com and I Choose Life Foundation at chooselifefoundation.org. After talking about AI, one of the king of shoes, that brings you to Don't Stop the Talks, Top 5 Picks. Okay, coming in at number five, we have Christina Applegate at the Bad Moms premiere. Number four, we got Victoria Justice from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And three, we got Mila Kunis again at the Bad Moms premiere. And I'm bringing in Sarah Hyland at number two, Haley from Modern Family. Now we're at my favorite, number one, Will Smith. Love these shoes, love the two-tone in these shoes. They are so sleek, love the style. And that takes us to our Don't Stop the Talk Spotlight. Sometimes we are able to turn tragedy into triumph. In 2011, the world lost five-time Grammy Award winner from alcohol poisoning at the young age of 27, Miss Amy Winehouse who was extremely charitable in her short-lived life and has found a way in her afterlife to help women with the same fatal disease. The Amy Winehouse Foundation will open a rehab center for female only. It'll be the first center for those struggling with alcohol and drug addiction. With assistance from the housing charity Centra, the place will open on August 27th and it will be called Amy's Place. Amy's Place will provide temporary housing and the tools women need to sustain their recovery. I have always loved the many charities that Amy Winehouse has supported, from Adopt a Minefield to Breast Cancer, Rights and Humanities, UNICEF, Save the Music, and that's just a few to name from the huge list of charities that she has supported. I love that her memory and her legacy lives on through Amy's Place. Everyone has been affected by drug addiction to some capacity in their life. Find out more about Amy's Place at amywinehousefoundation.org. Last, that brings me to my oh my goodnesses. This is the part of the show where we will be showcasing pics and videos of things that make you feel good. Every episode, you will have an opportunity to send in your own pics, memes, clips, news, anything you think will brighten someone's day. Send your submissions to don't stop the talk at yahoo.com. Please check us out on our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter page, and tune into the next episode for more positive updates on celebrities, musicians, athletes, and of course, their shoes. I'm Roxy B. Thanks for watching. And remember, whenever you hear good news and good gossip going on in the world, don't stop the talk. Don't stop. Don't, don't stop. Don't, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't, don't stop. Don't, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't, don't stop. Don't, don't stop.